It's midweek. Welcome to Let's Talk Showbiz here on Joy News on Multi TV. How are you doing? Well, it's time to get updated with the latest in the world of showbiz, and your girl Becky is right here to make that happen. So please, please, please stick and stay. I'll be right back. Let's Talk Showbiz. All right, if you've just joined me, this is the Let's Talk Showbiz, yes, and I am giving it to you back to back. I'm talking about the stories that are happening in the world of entertainment today. Let's congratulate actor John Dumelo, yes, he has a baby boy together with his wife, Gifty, uh, yes, baby, baby boy. I don't know, a lot of people are saying that, you know, they just got married five months after and the baby's here, you know, whatever it is, it's a baby. Babies are cute, and we say welcome to Ghana, welcome to uh, the world of entertainment here in Ghana, welcome to criticisms, I don't know. Yes, so we, we don't have a name yet, but I, I understand that the name is uh, Junior, so obviously John Dumelo Junior. Congratulations to you from the entire Let's Talk Entertainment team. We say big ups to you. Welcome to the world. Let's talk showbiz. Let's move away from John Dumelo and talk about music. Now, the president of Music Gap by Sosei Kufo is calling on government uh, to ensure that uh, we have, we study or the children study music in the basic schools because the music industry is dying and the only way to revive this music industry is to start from scratch teach them the music whilst they are uh, in the basic schools and that will be the way forward for the music industry buys or say kufo up next the musicians union of ghana are craving for a vibrant union of musicians to be built for national development but musica is saddened at the absence of the study of music at the country's basic schools. This development, its president, Bais Osekofu, popularly known as Obo, says apart from affecting the development of music in Ghana, has also made many with qualifications in music unemployed and wants government to consider the inclusion of music in the curriculum of basic schools. From the KPNG study, it was noted that music contributed very close to 1% of Ghana's gross domestic product. It was 0.8%. We believe strongly that was the very first of a study, and that when this study is continued based on the inputs of the Ghana Statistics Department, and we look at music and its offshoot development, just like places like South Africa, places like UK, where music as part of the broader, broader creative arts sector contributes close to 11% of the country's economy, we feel music in itself has the same abilities in our country, Ghana, if given the needed support by government and the appropriate agency. Finally, let me conclude by reiterating my call for government to set up a great support section for the music sector. And of course, also to introduce music as a curriculum in our basic schools. There are several music teachers who are unemployed now, and this will be a great boost for the music profession. Central Regional Minister Kwame Nadan can praise the president of Music Art, Obo, for the initiative to support aged musicians in Ghana through the presidential ball. He called on young talent to follow their passion and invest the money on productive ventures. So the point here is just that if they have the the, 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 the natural talent to sing, then they will focus on it and develop it to the very end. So one, as I've said, the raw talent and you as a body, they have an opportunity to come to you to develop it. And two, that will not be just singing, but the singing which will give them the money. The biannual conference, the first of its kind, was attended by very many popular musical icons in the country. The musicians deliberated on how to grow and nurture young talent in the country to promote culture and national development. Richard Kwejonya Akon, Joy News, Cape Coast. Let's talk showbiz. Let's still stay in the music industry and, well, I don't know, everyday Shatawale. Can we just stop talking about Shatawale? Well, we can't because his dad has been speaking. His dad says that, well, he's been following the feud between himself and Sarkodie and the rest of the musicians here in Ghana. 
but he actually advised his son to tone down, to just be focused. I think Sakode did that. Be focused on your Rain album. When the time is due, people, the world, will know the kind of artist you are. Shatawale's dad, Shata Kapo. Seriously, we are, we are expecting to go higher than where we are right now. We are telling a story, and by the end of the time we finish telling the story, uh, the public, of course, the masses here in Ghana and elsewhere, will get to know where Shatta is born for such a time and for such a generation. And for me, I'm highly elated, and I pray that uh, today, we would, once he steps on the stage, it's all going to be fireworks. <laughs> I'm sure that you've noticed uh, the trend of uh, beefing in the industry, uh, shutter beefing, this person, that person, Parker. Have you been following them? Well, I have. I have been following it, but all, all I say, I tell Shata is that for now, uh, he should tone down. Uh, we have an album launch. We have to finish that. There's an agenda for us, not only for this album launch, but there's an agenda ahead of us. And that's what we need to focus in on and build. Let's talk showbiz. Well, away from that, congratulations is in place for Lady Gaga and Christian Carino. Yes. Uh, they are engaged. Congratulations to you guys. E.T. has more. Lady Gaga is officially off the market. I have not heard about that. E.T. can confirm the 32-year-old entertainer is engaged to longtime love Christian Carino. A source tells E.T., quote, Gaga seems very happy to be in a more low-key relationship than with Taylor Kinney. She's on top of the world and Christian is part of that. I don't know if I have the articulate words to describe, you know, the tremendous uh, feeling of overwhelmed joy and excitement. The pop star and actress revealed the exciting news Monday night when she called Christian my fiance while making a speech at an event in Beverly Hills. She stepped out rocking a pink diamond ring on that special finger on the red carpet. Gaga has worn the massive sparkler many times during her press tour for A Star Is Born. Mother Monster was previously engaged to Chicago Fire star Taylor Kinney before calling it quits in 2016. She later confirmed her relationship with Christian, a talent manager, in February 2017. The two weren't shy about their romance, kissing and cuddling ahead of Gaga's Super Bowl halftime performance. Well, it's not just about it being my boyfriend. I, I, I ask that of many people in my life and my family um, all the time. That's Mother Monster praising her then boyfriend for giving his input when it comes to her career. But now I And it's clear Christian is her biggest fan. He shares PDA filled pics on Instagram with Gaga as the lovebirds travel together. He posted this cozy snap of the pair and captioned it, quote, home is not where you are from, it is where you belong. Some of us travel the whole world to find it, others find it in a person. And this stripped down pic of Gaga that simply read, believe in fairy tales. A so hundred people can be in a room and 99 don't believe in you and just one person believes in you and it can change everything. Let's talk showbiz. Now we are congratulating some people, some people uh, just call it quit. Ariana Grande and boyfriend uh, are over. They still love each other though, but uh, they are taking a break from each other's company maybe to reflect on uh, their personal lives and come back together. I don't know, but well, that's the news. Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson are over. It's over between them. Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson call it quits. 
According to multiple reports, the two still have love for each other, but things are over romantically. The news comes just one day after the singer was scheduled to perform at the Let's F Cancer Heroes Gala in Los Angeles, but canceled last minute. Her manager, Scooter Braun, gave a speech at the event and addressed her absence saying she needs this time to heal. Lessons learned through love. The 25-year-old singer and the 24-year-old SNL star got engaged back in May after just weeks of dating. Hey, Davidson, thanks for existing. Love you. The couple couldn't help but publicly gush over their relationship. Oh, yeah, I'm a lucky mother i am just be crying, like, out of happiness, literally lately. <laughs> I was on FaceTime last night crying. <laughs> To him. He was like, are you okay? And I was like, yeah. And during Saturday Night Live's season 44 premiere, Pete's cast wasted no time teasing him over their romance. What's the prenup situation? Well, obviously, I wanted one, you know, so God forbid, <laughs> God forbid we split up and she takes half my sneakers. <laughs> No, look, I, I'm totally comfortable being with a successful woman. I think it's dope. I live at her place, you know? <laughs> she pays like 60 grand for rent, and all I have to do is like stock the fridge. <laughs> yeah. But the engaged bliss came to a halt when Ariana's ex-boyfriend, Mac Miller, suddenly died. Ari has shared her heartache with fans on social media, tweeting, can I please have one okay day? Just one, please. E.T. has reached out to Ariana and Pete's reps for comment. Let's talk showbiz. All right, that'll be all for our show today. Trust you had fun. My name is Becky. Please join me same time tomorrow. Let's throw back something. It's, it will be fun because it will be the throwback Thursday. I'm sure you would have songs that you want me to play for you. Well, we don't do songs here, but whatever it is, please stick with me. Stick with Joy News. We'll be back tomorrow.